Hello, is me. I'm in my studio apartment, about to germinate some seeds, and it's easy. You see? <laughs> no, stop. Let me stop playing. Hey, real talk. Uh, I'm about to just do a hopefully a quick video, uh, ten minutes or less. That's my goal on how to. In the studio apartment, uh, germinate uh, seeds and also just take like a plant that's already started and just, you know, kind of elevate it so that you can uh, snip off of it as, you know, make your meals or what have you. So, what I'm going to do here, I have a couple of things. Um, I have a pamper. Alright, we're going to start off with a baby pamper. And I know you might be like, what the heck? A baby pamper, yeah, a baby pamper. So we're gonna take this baby pamper and we're gonna soak this baby pamper in some solution. Whatever solution you use to uh, feed your product with, okay? So here we go. I've already did this just to save time because I told you my goal is 10 minutes or less. So I have here a spring water or whatever water you're gonna use. And I put one tablespoon of azomite. Azomite is just magnesium, calcium, uh, and some other minerals that help feed uh, the plant. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pour that into my bowl. Like so. Give it a nice, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna pour, put the pamper in, and that's gonna that's gonna puff up pretty quick, you know. If you ever seen a baby running around with this pamper, you know how uh, thick those things get if they don't change them. So that's that. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I have some basil, okay? Uh, live basil. You normally can get this from Whole Foods, Fresh Market, wherever, something like that. They still have it growing. And man, when I tell you basil, whoo, man, it smells good. And it's, it's very good for you. So, I'm going to be planting those. Hopefully, they give me more uh, basil, okay, as I pick. But, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. Then... I'm going to talk real quick about these tomatoes. All right, give me a second. I'm at two minutes. All right, that one's stuck. All right, so I have some, uh, these are cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to give you a little brief or a little update or a little information to kind of, you know, help you with uh, knowing how and when to, to grow tomatoes. Tomatoes, if you're going to do it from the seeds, need to be germinated meaning simply put it in something like uh, this which is nothing more than uh, pellets okay they're called rock pellets or whatever you can research them on YouTube you put them in some solution same solution and they get this big then you puncture a little hole and put them in there of course that's germination most of you probably already knew that but if you didn't there you go so what I do is you put three of those seeds in there, okay? Poke about one eighth of an inch of a hole. One eighth of an inch of a hole is. I thought I had my little uh, hole poker, but I'll find that later. But one eighth of an inch of a hole is about that right there. Not even that much. And then you put the three, you know, seeds in there. Three per one of those little things and boom that's it and then about 10 days you'll start to see them sprout and then they'll grow into little you know little trees or what have you excuse me so what I'm gonna do here is my pamper is done change them babies <laughs> but look uh, as you can see how fast it absorbs that water so what I'm gonna do here I went to uh, Walmart right and Walmart got these little things right here, these bowls. Really, really cheap. Really cheap. They're 
kind of plastic, something like that. But they're about two bucks or something like that. Wasn't too much. And I got these things right here, which are like 98 cents. All right. Now, experienced uh, growers may be looking at this and maybe be thinking, what the heck, dude? You don't do it like that. Oh, well, this is my experiment. Let me do it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, of course, pour me here. And I'm going to do two. I have uh, two of these. Of course, there's no use to doing the other one on camera. But I have two of these per bowl. Okay. Boom. Like so. The theory behind this is once I put the mixture on top of that, and then I put the dirt, and then I put the, the plant, and then I put some more dirt around it, is that the excess water drains off so that the dirt doesn't absorb it and be too mushy. Because in this type of plant, you don't want the environment to be too mushy because it'll kill the plant. Um, so you want it to be just, just right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that pamper. And I'm going to try to tear it open. Okay, cool. I could tear it up with my hands, no biggie. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this solution in there without making a big mess. Okay, so I got one pamper, and what I'm gonna do is pour half of that pamper in there, and then pour the other half in the other one. Okay, now. That's done. Boom. What I'm gonna do now is just, you know, move it in and out of the way. Like so. Then I'm gonna get this some more solution. Like so. That's gonna plump up like so. That's gonna feed it for a while. I ain't gonna have to do nothing to it. The roots are gonna go to it you know as they need it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some dirt I got some regular fertilizer uh, this is just basically some natural or organics it has um, worm droppings in it as well so I'm gonna take this I'm at seven minutes I'm gonna put the dirt over here okay I'm not going to go all the way, and then I'm going to just make a little hole area, almost close to that, uh, to the edge, the bottom, okay, I don't want to touch the rocks, but over time the roots will get down there, but I'm just going to help it by creating a little, little area, then I'm going to take the plant, All right. Now, when you're doing this, inspect the plant because, you know, if there's some that's falling off, just go ahead and assist it, you know. Go ahead and just end its life. But we're going to bring it back to life because I'm going to put this in some water and boom, we're going to have uh, some more growing. Or I might just use them tonight. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put that there. Then I'm going to take some more dirt and just drop it around the edges. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to move this to this side and do the same thing. It's okay if you make a mess, and you know, if you have kids, uh, it's probably good to get them involved and uh, let them know that where their food come from and how easy it is and, you know, stuff like that. And so, once we do that, 
I'll give it a little water or whatever. And so, boom. And then this will be nice because you'll be able to gauge where the roots are growing and stuff like that. So whenever you got to uh, take it out and if you want to put it into a bigger pot, you can do so. If not, you just keep it here. Boom. That's 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up with, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. But before I do that, I think I'm going to go to 12 minutes. I apologize. Give me one second. All right, so what I have here is those little pellets. Remember those little pellets that I showed you here? Uh, I've already soaked these, right? And so they look something like this. And then what you do is just take the seeds. Now, some people, they take the seeds out and they put them in like a cup lined with, uh, what's that called? Uh, that paper, that rough paper, sandpaper. And that kind of rubs it up and give it a head start or something like that. But I don't, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead, take these seeds out, put three of them inside of each one of these. Now, I got this. All right, so the seeds come in another can, handy dandy little thing like this. And then you open them up. They're going to be very, very small. So whenever you open these up, you have to keep that in mind. Uh, not to just pour them out and let them waste everywhere. So they're going to be very small. And when I say small, they're small people. They're so small. They're so small they don't want to come out. Um, So. Wow. That's crazy. Let's see here. Yeah, they're small. They're so small, you might not be able to see them. But, uh, what I'm going to do, you want to do a lot of these because some of them may not grow. So, that's the theory behind that. But, I got this. This is basically a kitchen thing where you put your forks and what have you in there. And so, I'm going to let them sit in there. Um, and then water them as need. And then put like an aluminum thing over it, over there like that. And uh, another quick tip, of course, you know, everybody probably know this, but, you know, just make sure if you're going to be like doing something like this, uh, go ahead and just get you like a stake holder because you want to assist these things. If not, you know, they're going to be looking lifeless. And I went and just got some green stuff like that. And so I'll wrap it around just to, you know, help it stand up a little bit as it's getting its nutrients back. So... That's been a nice little video about how you can just start your own little vegetables, herbs, and stuff like that in the house, uh, especially basil and tomatoes. So what I'll do is keep you guys updated on that. Man, it smells good. I'll keep you guys updated on how this is turning out. Um, so grow your own stuff. If you're in the studio, if you're in an apartment, you don't think you can do it, hey, it's possible. All right, so until then, peace out. Be easy.